Hello everyone, how are you? Today we are going to start about another question for the purpose of MRCS regarding EMRCS. We will discuss all other questions like recalls, Fausia sheets and other questions if possible after completion of this lecture. So let's uh, start the question. Which of the following surgical procedures will have the greatest long-term impact of patient calcium metabolism? So here we can see a surgical procedure of the abdomen which will long term effect here. This point is important long term effect on patient with calcium metabolism. That means it is uh, clear now that uh, our GIT they are responsible for absorption of uh, different nutrients, vitamin, minerals and other things and excretion of the uh, some products. but which of the gastrointestinal system is responsible for calcium metabolism if the corresponding part of calcium metabolism is resected then long term impact on calcium metabolism of the patient so we have to find out where the calcium absorption occurs we uh, know that in the metabolism they include absorption and other uh, 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 events occur so you can see the options the options are distal gastrectomy polycystectomy extensive small bowel resection subtotal colectomy gastric bending for obesity first of all we uh, can see the distal gastrectomy distal gastrectomy we uh, know that the stomach uh, stomach uh, there is usually no absorption occur so uh, in case of calcium metabolism distal gastrectomy it uh, uh, usually uh, uh, don't uh, impact then cholecystectomy cholecystectomy uh, the gallbladder is removed if cholecystectomy occur or gallbladder or re was removed are removed then it is no possible to decrease the calcium level because bile is responsible uh, for fat metabolism then extensive small bowel resection, subtotal colectomy. We know that in the colon, in the colonic area, colon usually absorb uh, water and other substances, but they usually don't absorb the vital nutrients like calcium, iron, and gastric bending. Gastric bending, uh, in case of gastric bending, there is uh, mini, uh, no role of the calcium metabolism. So this picture we can see uh, here is the calcium. It uh, arises. Uh, comes to the blood circulation from the small intestine the small intestine duodenum jejunum and ileum from their calcium absorbed so here we can see a, a note calcium is mainly absorbed from the small intestine so any surgery to small intestine and resection of a large part of small intestine it is enough to hamper the calcium absorption so operation in the small bowel and resection of large part of the small bowel is responsible for long term effect of calcium metabolism so our final answer is extensive small bowel resection or small intestine resection and other the options they are usually not responsible for uh, calcium metabolism hamper thank you